Hello everybody, Toys TV, Star Wars figure again, mm -hmm. episode 8, Kylo Ren. Do you like the uh, characters? I, I know some people don't like the, mm, the character. I cannot say I hate him, <laughs> but it's, it's not my favorite because of, oh. not because of the actor. I, I like Adam Driver as an actor, yeah. but it's just his behavior throughout the whole movie. I think sometimes it doesn't really make sense. Yeah, as I told you, he reminded yeah. me uh, of Tetsuo from Akira. Uh, Tetsuo in uh, Akira. Akira. Yeah, but you, as you said, uh, Tetsuo is like 15 year old. Well, first of all, he's he's on drugs. <laughs> <And> he <laughs> can the force, somehow the force is kind of drug. <laughs> and he cannot really control himself. Yeah, not other than him. And he's also a teenager, he's like 15. Yeah, and he's yeah. like older. He's older and yeah. he's supposed to be like a squad leader, you know, he's a military man or yeah, something, you know, yeah, he's supposed sure. to have composer, not like destroying the entire communication system or, you know, yeah. it's how man inside elevator and hills is broken into pieces. And it, worship his grandpa. Yeah, I, yeah, like this kind of behavior, it, it kind of took me out of the movie a little bit. Yeah, I, I'm... <laughs> I'm not such a difficult viewer. I'm very yeah. I, I think it's okay, especially because I like the actor also. So to yeah, me he's okay. an excellent actor. Yeah, yeah. So, and the head sculpt, it looks like him, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I like. There's something in his eyes they capture it very well. Mm. The anger, a little bit crazy. Like the, the facial expression. Yeah. Maybe the um the shape is not as good as some of the, the best works from Hot Toys, mm. maybe. It's totally a personal opinion, but it, this is happy enough. I mean, yeah. for us, I, I mean, if uh, I like, I want to get this figure and I receive this and I look at it, I'm happy. Yeah, mm. yeah I'm, I'm okay with it. I, again, personal opinion. I think maybe it, uh, uh, it's a little bit too wrong but it's just mm. my own impression. It could be. Yeah, it's very different. It could be like that in pictures. Yeah. yeah. So, everything else is it's great. I love the scar. Yeah. It's very accurate, and of course, his his eyes can you know he's he's telling you something like yeah. he's he's acting. So, it's great. Yeah. Especially when you put him in some action poses, mm -hmm. I think uh, this ex uh, this facial expression work very well. It's like really, poses. Yeah, yes. It's Sometimes you, you have some hot toy figures. They just looking straight. Yeah. And they're you know it's it they looks don't like know. <laughs> and there's no focus. Also. Yeah. Some, yeah. Yeah. It's just looking straight. Yeah. So this one. This uh, one works. Yeah. There's yeah. some improvement. Mm. What about the body and the, and the outfit? Um, uh, the first thing first thing that I like uh, talk about it all the time is the the head uh, body ratio mm. and also the body shape. Because Adam Propulsion. Driver, yeah, Adam yeah. Driver has a, a special kind of body shape. He's like strong, but um, also his, wide. His uh, upper body is kind of wide. Yeah, and it's, the, the torso is is long and wide. Yeah, yeah. and his uh, this time the figure respect it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he capture it and they reproduce it very well. Uh, well, I, I didn't open the cloth and I didn't, I don't know check what they. Inside, yeah, yeah. I didn't, I, we didn't check, but uh, you see the the bell is large. So yeah, it's very wide. Yeah. Uh, so it uh, it looks like looks like him in the in the movie. Mm. Yeah. And also the cape. I want to mention the cape. How do you put it on? It's actually got magnets. So you just put it on. Yeah, two and pieces. It snaps, it snaps in place. Yeah. Yeah. Two pieces of uh, magnets in in the inside the shoulder. Yeah. And also one piece uh, in the middle of the in, back. In the back. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the material, this is new. It does look like some kind of like uh, sheepskin leather, you know, yeah. that kind of that kind of leather with with some distress on it. I think I've yeah. seen this kind of uh, leather in real like women's handbag, yes. uh, or purses, on um, purses and even jackets. Yeah. I, I've seen this kind of leather before, and this is not. Real leather. It's but some it kind really of fabric, looks, but looks from like this side, it really looks like they yeah. they made it out of leather. So you know, this is an excellent uh, yeah. tailor job. And it's thin and soft enough. It works very well on the body. Yes. Yeah, the dropping is uh, perfect. Drape, yeah, the draping is really good. It doesn't uh, have wire, but I think it's okay because he doesn't really wear this when he yeah. was fighting. So it this looks perfect. Yeah. yeah. Like a boss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay. How about the outfit? Uh, the outfit is definitely movie accurate, and the first thing I see is the stitching on the vest itself. It's very detailed. It's extremely detailed. They actually crisscross uh, the pattern. Like in the top, it's going horizontal, but on the back, and especially uh -huh. the lower part, More it's cross. going diagonal. So it's it's uh, almost like a real. Uh, jacket that people would buy from the stores or a tailor-made it's uh, real tailoring and then on the sleeves there's also a lot of work it's like one layer uh, on top of another yeah they're like pleats yeah they uh, for example like on, on my shirt they fold it like this yeah. and then they put uh, a layer of uh, epoxy printing and then they fold another layer again. they fold again yeah. so it's it's like uh, Multiple layers of pleats, yeah. Mm. And it actually helps with the movement. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the pants, this is a new materials. Yep. And I this, don't recall seeing this before. This uh, is like a course. surprise. Yeah. Uh, I do not know for sure 100% this is the material that I'm going to say, but I rethink it is. Yeah. Uh, it's the material you see in the very thin uh, sport, uh, windbreakers. Yeah. yeah, like the sports, you know, like for, for running or that kind of stuff. Uh, it's one of those like nylon, mm. really thin uh, sports jackets. And this kind of material, I do not think it will deteriorate that easily. Yeah. Given that you know the the jacket if that I have, if it is really what we think, I it think is. it's that yeah, it, it's it at least ninety percent that yeah. feels like that kind of material. Yeah. It's it's not some kind of uh, silicone or rubber or that kind of uh, epoxy printing. Not mm -hmm. no, it's real nylon from jackets, and I think even under sunlight, mm -hmm. it will hold up pretty well. It's supposed to be. Yeah. But then I, I think the legs looks a little bit thin mm. to me. Um, yeah, we don't recall uh, his pants being this kind of loose. Yeah. Uh, I have to watch the movie again. I'm not sure 100%. Mm. Uh, either that and with the stitching on the knees, it makes the pants look kind uh, of loose. loose. Yeah. But it, the advantage is, if you have something like this, you can pose mm. any way you like. Yeah. And it won't stretch it. But for I think some collector will take off the pants and maybe fill it with some uh, mm. materials inside, then put it back to make padding, the, some kind of padding. Yeah, to make, make the legs the, make the stronger, thighs, thicker. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. How about the boots? The boots, uh, well, I have to say that uh, I'm not 100% happy. Well, I won't use the word happy, but like uh, satisfied, satisfied with yeah, it because, because it's one piece. Yeah. The, it makes the ankle joint extremely difficult to pose. But that, that's nothing to do with it. Uh, I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, we try to make him do a wide stance, yeah. and, the, and the feet would not touch the ground perfectly. Because there's no articulation. You can. Well, that's a joint. Inside. Inside. But the boot won't too, allow you yeah, to. The, the boot won't allow you to do that. It's yeah. just too thick and it's difficult to pose. But then the pink job is perfect. There's oh yeah, the weathering, weathering is nice. Yeah, it's really, really realistic. And the shape of the of the, the boot is actually very perfect. Nice. Yeah. yeah, it really looks like a, a soft material. Yeah, but then it's not. This time yeah, they go for the. You know the other figure that we that we did a video on, yeah. which we cannot say the name right now. <laughs> <laughs> the boot is broken into two parts and it's perfect. So yeah. what happened to this one? <laughs> yeah, I think that's a reason beyond. Yeah, what, what we can, uh, production what issues. We know, yeah. yeah, there must be a reason. Yep, accessories. So you have uh, well, we are we are already put on the the arm with the the light up the, the light up, Yeah. So what do we do? Should we light it up? It's already light up. It's already switched on. The light is not showing that well no. in front of the camera, but at least you get the idea. It's it's uh, if you have played with any of the uh, Star Wars. Jedi figures before uh, you probably seen this. It's the interchangeable arm. Yeah, so it and works like all the others. Uh, yeah, Jedi. So the other one has a battery compartment inside, and you know there's a switch. Mm. So you you switch the arm with with that one, and then 
uh, the hilt is permanently attached to the hand, and you just take the blade out and then. And it wasn't it's difficult like to change. It's, it was this is this time is quite easy. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's, you have it's a, not that bad. You have a zipper. Zipper behind his arm, so it, it's not difficult. You just unzip it. Yeah, it goes quite smooth. Yeah. Okay. So how about the helmet? Let's check the, the helmet. Yeah, another selling point of this figure is it the two hats. Yeah, it kind of have two hats even though the other one is not a head sculpt and for a non-DX figure it's, it's a good uh, feature to have it's being good. able to change the head yeah. the, the range of motion yeah. is quite large this time it's very detailed, the textures there's a, all kind of scars on the yeah, the battle surface. damage yeah. and even the shape is not perfect you can see part of the, the helmet is dented yeah. maybe he hit him on himself <laughs> So you can try to switch the head. Yeah. Okay, so now is the uh, figure with the helmet on. The hat, yeah. yeah, and uh, actually some accident happened. Yep. Uh, the mask fell off because yeah. uh, let me show you this. Uh, you see there are like one part of the mask is kind of protruding out. Here. Which is the fun part. There are actually two pieces. Uh, in the factory they just glue it on. Yeah with some tiny point of uh, glue. Uh, super glue or something like yeah. that and we find out that it's actually impossible to put the head on without touching this part so your 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 palm would bound to touch that part mm. and you have to use some force to to put the head on and we just hit it and then this part came out so but it's not permanent you can easily fix it yeah you, you can just, just glue it back on it back. Yeah, yeah it's it's the design of the helmet and i don't blame the engineers because yeah. it has to look that way or maybe yeah. just when you uh manipulate it don't touch this front part you but it's, it's uh, difficult it's difficult but uh, keep, keep your fingers on the sides yeah. and do not touch the front yeah. uh, maybe you can avoid the accident yeah because yeah. naturally your, your palm will be covering the hand yeah. like this, yeah, so. But otherwise it looks good. Yeah. It's very detailed. And like we said, the articulation is awesome, you know, the range of motion is crazy. Uh, the parts, well, that, that's not many parts, up beside the hands. So we have like five hands plus, plus an arm. Two, yeah. seven. Uh, yeah, like two, two, two already on the, the figure. Next seven and this one. Yeah, and the extra hilt but without the light up. But again, this one is quite fragile because the details are very tiny. Yes, there's a part on the on the hilt that uh, it sticks out just like many other uh, lightsabers. Mm -hmm. And this part is also a different piece. Then mm -hmm. they just glue it on. So if you are not careful, it'll come out. Uh, but it's fixable, you know, you just put some super glue or something on it. So you always it have on. a tube of super glue on your table yeah. when you play with <laughs> figures and toys and yeah. yeah. And it's supposed to go here. Yeah. Yeah. So it goes goes like this. Yes. Uh how about a stand? You have two it's sets of decorations? Quite standard for, yeah. for that series and you, they have some uh picture plate you can uh, replace mm -hmm. and also the the plate in the front they standardize uh, the other figures from the same series they have the same design just the name is changed it's, mm -hmm. it's just quite nice if you put them side by side they, mm -hmm. they look like they're from the same series mm -hmm. so uh, what can we see more? the cape on Kylo Ren yeah. love him or, or hate him but he will be there it's an important character, you know. I can't, mm -hmm. I can't deny it. But I like him. I, yeah. I like the young, young ones uh, from the new series. Uh, mm -hmm. Ray and him. Uh, uh, Paul, uh, he's not. He's being strange in the second movie. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't. Know. We we say a lot because it's, this is a Disney movie, and they want to make all the women characters look good, strong, yeah. stronger. Yeah. <laughs> so Paul is not what he's supposed. What we expect him to be from the episode mm. um, seven. But in the episode eight, he's kind of. Um, he's just a hard head. He yeah. doesn't know what he's doing most and of the he, time. And he just go for it, and then something crazy happen. You know. I don't know. Well, yeah. Anyway, it's a story, okay? It's just a story, and yeah. 
Voila. Okay, okay so thank you for watching. See you next time, guys. Bye. Bye bye.